Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is May 6th and Barrow is coming to the Saturn Cronia Relay. It's been a pretty interesting and big week for us all, so let's see what he has. The wait is over, Tenno. Basilisk Fighter Decoration. Hey, Grey Ghost, thank you for the resource drop chance. Blessing. This, I'm guessing, goes into your personal quarters in that previous Empyrean display with the space and the ships. So with the Tactus Cutter ship piece, I don't remember what it's called, but this is kind of cool. Pick it up if you want. That is our new piece this time. Maim, a 120% slash. I mean, you can get it from Eidos. I don't remember how else you can get it. But this is a pretty cheap mod. I would rather just buy it for plant from other players than spend ducats on it here like this since it really isn't worth that much. High voltage. This is the rifle one. I don't remember if you can get this from... Yeah, let me check real quick. High voltage Warframe. Barrow Kateer only and a Sabotage Hive. Okay, so you can get this from Hive Sabotage. Therefore, you do not need to buy this if you're willing to farm it through that way. Prime Charge Shell, this is a really important electric primed mod. For shotguns, I would strongly say pick this up. It's useful for getting, say, the most corrosive damage you can out of a shoddy, or if you want to build it for radiation instead for Eilons, if you for some reason want to do that. Pedestal Prime is back. It looks like this. It's pretty cool, but it's also just a pedestal. You can put decorations on top of it. It's 1 million credits per pedestal that you buy. You are going to use Zanuka Hunter Beacon here too as well. If you want to get more of the Zanuka related drops, you got the Prisma Nabarus shoulder piece. Now I have these myself. So I don't really use them that often, but they're, they're pretty unique and pick up interesting colors as well. We have our entire Katir Foros armor sets. So if you like it, then you can get it here. The chest piece is pretty sleek, pretty subtle. The legs as well. And then also the arms. I think they do color pretty well and it's worth picking up. You got your cat ears, Katir Atmos earpiece. And the Katir Raza sign Dana, which I'm not too fond of, but that's what it looks like. And Pustaf skin. I'm also not too fond of that. And, oh, look. The Ignis Wraith is back again. So if you haven't picked it up yet, you can get a copy of that weapon from Barrow here. Otherwise, well, you can get it pretty easily for very, very, very cheap or free from other people. If you ask around. You got your Katir stencil for your personal quarters. Nexus Gene Mask and Kit for your Kavat. Mirage Immortal skin, which looks like this. It's... I don't really feel it's worth it. I've been skipping over most of the mortal skins. Very few of them I keep like volts, which I find were actually made well. Axie A5, this is the Ak Vastal Relic. Our Glaxon Vandal. If you haven't seen it yet, I made a video on this about, I think a month and a half ago on what you can do with the new Gauss Augment for Thermal Slender to turn this into the perfect viral heat beam weapon finally when we couldn't do it before due to issues with the elemental weighting. Prisma Lotus Glyph looks like that. Vez Luxum ornaments to go in your orbiter as well. And Split Flights. Wow, this, this hasn't come back in a while. But this is actually a pretty useful and pretty convenient mod. I use this on my AoE Daikyu builds as well as I think it's on my Cernos Prime build too as well. So it's, it's not always the best and the one that you will use on all your bows where it's eligible but it is very very useful in some of them still so i would say it is worth picking up if you do like bow gameplay just keep in mind it does not work on the lens artemis bow or the brahma then we have a domestic katir drone which is the katir's spin on the domestic drone lemna staff skin 
that's actually a pretty interesting one. I wonder how it's colors. If you remember, we had a Lemnus dual sword skin that looked really, really cool. And this one seems to sort of continue that tradition. I don't think it's as cool, but it looks like it picks up colors pretty well with pretty strong saturations and accents. So feel free to pick that up if you want. And then finally, the Sands of Inaros blueprints as always. So that's all that Barrow is bringing want, to I'm PC sure for this week. Remember, I always include console down in the description and the pinned comment, so you can see it's out there. If you're always wondering on uh, when console will get what PC has, it's always three visits afterwards, so six weeks later. I also have a Twitch now. If you haven't seen it yet, it's also down in the description and the pinned comment, so go feel free to check us out. We have drops through all the rest of this week until next week, Wednesday. Sebas, thank you for the affinity blessing. I do appreciate it. But yeah, that's about it for this one. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.